When the world is under attack from terrifying creatures who hunt their human prey by sound, 16-year-old Allie Andrews, Kiernan Shipka, who lost her hearing at 13, and her family seek refuge in a remote haven. This sci-fi movie gonna blow your mind. Let's watch. A team of cave researchers is hammering a section of a cave in Pennsylvania when they dig deeper and discover a vast and abandoned chamber. Excited, they immediately inform the surface team about the find. However, their excitement turns to horror when a swarm of unknown bat-like creatures violently attacks and kills the researchers. The creatures then fly out of the cave, seeking the noisiest areas. Allie, a teenage girl who lost her hearing in a car accident, is walking down the street watching something on her tablet when a group of boys mocks her using sign language. Allie, adapting quickly to her deafness, chooses to ignore their taunts. Her father, Hugh, and his friend Glenn work as engineers. During a meeting, Hugh receives a call from his wife, Kelly, informing him of the bullying incident at school. It's evident that Allie's parents are concerned about her. Allie lives in Montclair, New Jersey, with her parents, her grandmother, Lynn, who has terminal lung cancer, her younger brother, Jude, and a pet dog. One day, while walking home from school, her friend Rob covers her eyes from behind. Rob expresses his fondness for Allie and promises to buy a car to pick her up every day. At home, Allie tells her mom about the incident, leading Kelly to suspect that Allie and Rob might be dating. Later that night, Allie senses something wrong when she sees her dog barking outside. She finds her grandmother smoking in the backyard, and Lynn begs her not to tell her mom. Despite Allie's promise, she overhears her parents arguing about her car accident three years ago. Feeling uneasy, she lays in bed and watches the news on her tablet. Her father, worried about Allie's safety, enters her room and asks about Rob's character. At three in the morning, Allie's mother wakes her up. In the living room, the entire family, including Glenn, is watching the news on TV. The report reveals an outbreak of unknown creatures called VESP in the cities of Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. These creatures are easily provoked by loud noises. The US government declares a state of emergency, urging people to stay indoors and remain quiet. Startled by a loud noise, everyone witnesses several warplanes in the sky. Ally suggests heading to the countryside, known for its quietness, and the group agrees. Glenn, armed with a gun, joins them as they set out in two cars. During a video call with Rob as they drive away from the city, Ali and Rob promise to stay in touch until the outbreak ends. They stop at a gas station to prepare necessities, and Ali's dog barks at a man with a shotgun. The man attempts to hijack Hugh's car, but Glenn shoots him in the leg, allowing them to escape. The next day, they encounter a massive traffic jam on the interstates. Glenn decides to change their route off-road, encountering a herd of fleeing deer that forces Glenn's car down an embankment. Though Glenn survives, he is trapped inside. Despite initial attempts to help, Glenn insists they leave him behind to stay safe from the creatures. Unfortunately, there's no signal for help. Hugh promises Glenn that he will search for help and return to rescue him. Upon their return to the car, the dog's barking attracts the peace, leading to an attack on the car. Glenn, firing his gun, sacrifices himself to lead the creatures away. As they return to the car, Hugh decides to let the dog out, leaving Ali crying in disappointment. After waiting for a while, Hugh decides to try something and leaves the car. Unexpectedly, Lynn starts coughing, attracting the VSPs back to the car. Hugh picks up an iron and throws it to distract the Vesps, realizing they can't see. Ali mentions they understand sign language, allowing them to survive without making noise. Unable to use their noisy vehicle, Hugh asks for Lynn's lighter and sneaks to Glenn's car. He sets the car on fire as a decoy, allowing the family to quickly exit and walk through the woods in search of shelter. They find a house with a high fence and a locked gate. Trying to open the door accidentally rings the bell, attracting the homeowner who unknowingly speaks loudly, attracting the Vesps. They soon find a storm drain to enter the house. Hugh crawls through the storm drain first and signals the rest when he reaches the front. However, a rattlesnake startles Hugh, making him scream and attracting the Vesps. They bite Kelly's leg, but Hugh distracts them by turning on a wood chipper, crushing the Vesps flying into it. The family finally enters the house. That night, they treat Kelly's infected wound, and Allie tries to contact Rob, learning his parents are dead. She asks Rob to join them, but the call disconnects. The next morning, Kelly's condition worsens, so Hugh and Allie leave to find antibiotics. In the deserted city, they find a pharmacy store with a strange man watching them. 
Inside, Hugh gathers medical supplies, and Allie discovers Vespees growing inside corpses. The Vesps enter the store, but Hugh distracts them with a fire sprinkler, escaping with Ally. A strange man, the Reverend, approaches them, trying to recruit them into his flock named the Hushed. They choose to leave him, noticing he doesn't have a tongue. Returning home with antibiotics, Kelly recovers swiftly. Ally learns from CNN that VSPs can't survive in the cold northern parts. Come morning, the Reverend discovers the family's hideout and arrives with his followers. He once again urges them to join the flock, but Hugh refuses and demands them to leave. The tongueless Reverend, unable to speak, writes that Ali is fertile, angering Hugh who brings out his gun, forcing the cultists to leave. In the evening, Rob informs Ali that he's heading north to the refuge, but the internet disconnects. Thunder rumbles as the family falls asleep. Suddenly, Hugh and Kelly are awakened by a creaking sound outside their house. They find a shocked little girl at the door, discovering she's a member of the tongueless cult with no tongue. Surprisingly, the little girl hides several phones inside her clothes, revealing that some phones were placed around the house by the cult. The phones simultaneously ring, attracting the VSPs to attack their house. They manage to throw the phones into the water to stop them from ringing, but the cult members break in and abduct Ali while everyone deals with the Vesps. Lynn, witnessing Ali's abduction, follows and attempts to rescue her. She restrains Ali's captors, screaming and attracting the Vesps to her and the captors. Ally escapes, but one cult member takes her hostage with a knife to her throat. A fight ensues, resulting in the death of most cult members, including the severely beaten Reverend. A few weeks later, the family travels north across America and reaches the refuge. Ali charges her tablet on an abandoned Jeep and receives a message from Rob, saying he's already there. They reunite, starting to hunt Vespees with arrows, adapting to the new world. Ally wonders if the Vesps will adapt to the cold, and if humans will adjust to a soundless lifestyle, similar to her adaptation when she lost her hearing. Here you will get mind-blowing movies every time. Show your support by subscribing and check out the videos on your screen.